All right, good morning, everybody. Today is currently Monday, April 4th, and my account is over seven grand again. We're up 140 today. Um, I think it's looking like a good day overall. I looked at the spy on open and it was red. And oh, it's in the green now for by two dollars. Okay, but yeah, we're up 140 dollars here. I was going to sell some calls on SoFi, and I think I'm still gonna do that. I might do that in this video, we'll have to see. But I haven't had anything new. I just wanted to do a quick portfolio update. I'm probably going to use the wheel strategy on SoFi, even though I'm down a lot. So, um, I'm just going to probably do April 29th here. 10 5 maybe. I think I'm going to do 10 and a half. I would be all right with selling my shares there. Maybe 11. Yeah, I'll do 11. So, sell and then higher SoFi shares for $35. And then pretty much for the guys that don't know, if SoFi goes above, well, is at above $11. I think that's why I selected 11 Yeah, $11. After the 29th or at the 29th, then I'm going to have to be forced to sell all my 100 shares at $11, even if the price is above that. So this is the little risk here. I could sell it, the contract, before it hits $11 if I'm worried about it. But I'm honestly not too worried about that because SoFi hasn't broke, what, 10, 11, around that area in a couple months now. So I might go ahead and do this contract real quick. Get a little passive income flowing. Um, so I do keep the 100 shares for now. So if this does go down to like $5, $5 per con a contract, I'm just going to go ahead and sell that and then recycle it. So yeah, as you can see now, I have $36. And I can go ahead, I can pretty much do whatever I want with that, but I'm probably just going to let the, um, all my capital just collect and I might go ahead and put it in. I, I was buying Google for a little bit, so I might put it in either Google or Amazon just because I do see them succeeding in the future, especially Amazon because, you know, e-commerce isn't going anywhere. But I did want to check out Walmart because it is my biggest holding currently. Um, 153. So I don't know if it updated, but I can show you guys on my Walmart Associates stock purchase program where I buy it through my work. Here we go. I have almost 20 shares now, um, valued at 3000 Walmart's been actually doing pretty good recently. It was hanging around like the 130, 140 range. So it finally broke 150. I'm really hoping it can stay up there. But yeah, so pretty much... If you do work at Walmart, I would totally recommend this, even if it, you're just part-time. Because I work one day a week there, and I'm getting my full $75, which is was roughly at the time, I think, like a, a full share per um, month. Yeah, because I get paid bi-weekly, so it'd be a full share a month. So uh, I did the math last night. Walmart has paid me around $400 in stock. So depending on what price the share is... Um, they probably what three three two and a half shares so that's i mean that's just free free stock for just working there and buying it through them so i'm completely fine with that so this is something that i wouldn't put in my personal profile uh portfolio even though it's a good stock to own so i just wanted to let you guys know about that so i'm over as of today i'm over 10k in my stock portfolio and then in my um i'm gonna make another video breaking down what all, uh, what all I have um, as I'm almost 20, but as a 19-year-old uh, investor. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. Um, but I think that's it for today. Hopefully, everyone has a good week, and I will keep you guys updated on my Robinhood for sure. But, yeah, I'm, hope I'm very happy and hoping that Walmart can stay above 150 because, like I said, it's one of my big – it is my biggest holding. So, yeah, hopefully everyone has a good week. Peace out.